So first of all, we're going to do a, a, a normal experiment that we, we always do with the fang spots, where we call out and see what sort of communication we get back with, with it. And again, we've got the white noise um, experiment going on here in front of us as well with the TVs. So we're just going to call out the fang spots and see what we get through. What's that, Amy? Did you hear that? Yes. It's unbelievable. We're not, are we taping this? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can you say that again? Right, we're asking Spirit to come close now and speak with us through this machine in front of us here. We're asking you to speak with us and link in with us now. Ooh. Where are you going? Ooh. This is getting fast. Have you got a message for us? Uh, is there someone here with us in this theatre? Yes. Is there someone here with us in this theatre? Yes or no? While well, we're here at the moment, we're going to do a white noise experiment. We've actually got the TVs here. And we've got them set on the white noise and we've also got the frank spots but we're going to try something very unique thank you we're going to try something very unique for the first time and we've got a, we've got um, a reverse speech application and what we're going to do I'm going to talk into this and call out to spirit and then we're going to play it back in reverse speech so again we're very excited about this and we're going to start the experiment now I'm going to call out and then we're going to listen to it in reverse speech and see if we get any answer back from the France box. I'm going to have to put the uh, loudspeaker into this and you'll still hear the France box reasonably okay. So we might have to just do this later. I'm going to have to pull that speaker out because it's just too loud. So, speaker out of that. Yep. And I'll turn this up. We should be able to hear that. Hello, my name's Michael. Can you give me your name, please? See if me and all you making a walk your arms and many umbrella. That sounded like backward, didn't it? That sounded backward. Can you give me the name, please, of the man or the person, the lady, whoever it may be, who sits in this theatre and lets people see him or her from time to time? Looking down on them. Push that. That whole thing just went. You were nowhere near it, John. It just came forward. Have we got yeah. that on camera? Yeah, 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 we have it. We all experienced that, didn't we? The whole thing just went. And what I'm more interested about was. I think it's just reverse speech. Yeah, I think provoking. someone doesn't like it. No. Who done that? Who pushed the TVs? 
the whole TV was gonna, was pushed over in front of us. We couldn't see what was going on, but we heard it. That's why I ran up in case there was a problem. The TV was TV pushed, was just, just pushed out to moved. stop it from being what pushed. what we heard just before that happened was laughter like people were being entertained from the the thunder mic on your... What sounded like that to people being entertained on the thunder mic on the camera. Oh, wow. And then, then all the things you thought there would go. This TV was pushed over. The TV here well, I had to stop it, didn't I? Yes. John was there, and, and, and the TV here, was the pushed over. My fault. My. The TV pushed forward. It was going to fall over. Yeah. I had to stop it. But Unbelievable. I, just slightly before, I thought I would have heard something. I had my thoughts looking at looking as well, and then there was the whole thing. The whole thing. Just from this, is a reaction to the reverse speech. I'm going to play it again. Okay. We didn't know We can not see it, so we thought. It was Unbelievable. I think you're on the side of this. I really do, yeah. I'm only worried that it's bothering someone. But, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, the TV jump. What actually happened, Scott, when I was to tell you? We were here, I played a big portion of reverse speech. In fact, I'll do it again, but what actually happened? The whole blimmin' what? Yeah, it's that one there. The whole no, it was clap. It was being pushed over. I stopped it from from falling over. That is some energy. That's big energy. Yeah. Uh, Holly, I have never in my life, Paul, I have never in my life experienced energy like that. That was powerful. This was this was being pushed over in front of us. This all fell off. Thing. And it was after the reverse speech. Unbelievable. This is the most amazing. We all three of us yeah. experienced it. Yeah. We all freaked out, weren't we? Yeah. To be honest. Freaked out. The whole thing fell off the top. We heard the bang. All that it, fell off. The whole know, even the thing the back of that was down there. That is the most powerful yeah. energy I've ever seen in my life working in the paranormal. Yeah, we just checked that, like the, the guys that told us that the light switch is... No, 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 because you have to... The light switch is for the, uh, the other side of it. Who turned it on? So they all came on one go. It shouldn't have happened. Someone would have had it turn them on. It had been someone. And there's definitely nowhere else in this building. There's nowhere else in the building you can turn them on, but that little latch. But in that little hatchback. Then, I'm, guys, I'm absolutely flabbergasted because these lights just come on on their own in the theatre. So, unbelievable. Nobody else was in here, they'd all gone up to up the, up the, out, out the theatre and all the lights come on. Now, I immediately radioed to the guys up there in the base station where all the, all the equipment is and said, who's just turned the lights on? And they said, nobody's turned the lights on, the, your staff were actually out of the area. And yeah, they were in the office. There you go, you, you can witness that. So what I'm saying, either you as the manager of the playhouse, there's nowhere else in this building that these lights could have been turned on, but the we... No, it's only controlled from the one panel, one which is just going through the hatch. Can I ask, and this is just to, to put all things out of, the, out of the question here, if someone walked past, would it be quite a job for them to turn them on without actually going in there? No, well, you'd have to lean right round, right. and you'd have to know which button, there's eight buttons, right. and they're on a the dimmer, right. so the top one's full brightness, obviously different levels, so you'd have to know which one to touch as well, and even staff don't even know which one to hit. Right, because so right. yeah. can I tell you, AD, that men, yeah. like say, yeah. just two of us in, they all came on together, not even slowly, they just all come on. No, I, they pulled up a drop. No, they didn't, they, they just they, came on. Like someone flipped the switch, they were all no, just no, as they are. But that's not the way them lights work. If I, if I walk around and switch those lights off, they slowly, slowly down. Okay. 
I got a I have an issue, I have an issue with lights and the light drink because it's a big bulb, it's expensive to run. So I constantly annoy everybody's case to make sure they switch the lights off and all the rest of it. And I have ongoing arguments that if I switch the lights off, come down, do what I have to do, come up to another day and the lights are back on again. And I'll say if you switch the lights on and I always have a go at Gary, because Gary's always showing people around the building and stuff and he's going, I haven't been up to something. I'm going, well I switch those lights off and now you're back on again. And this is an ongoing battle I have with the lights in the cinema, it's, it's constant. There's nothing on timers or anything? No, no, no. 